hello it is a may 19th 2021 and i have a book haul slash on haul for you i know it hasn't been very long since the last one um i just i have a lot of books here for a couple of reasons i have one pre-order one of my own books we went to barnes and noble Stephen bribed me to go to barnes and noble he said if you come to bismarck with me we can go to barnes and noble and i bought five books and also it is the end of school year is kind of winding closer i guess i've got two days left of finals and all these books that i weeded which are either falling apart or adult paranormal romance that don't need to be in high school library i'm just i know they're letting me throw them away so i'm just trying to save as many as i can uh so first up the unhaul i've got three books on haul first up i've got milk and vine by adam gasiewski and emily beck this is the stupidest fucking thing i've ever read uh, i've got Oran High School Host Club Volume 2 by Bisco Hattori. I love this series, but I don't have the first volume anymore, so I'm getting rid of it. And Killer's Kiss by R.L. Stein, which was fun, but I don't need to keep it around. So I've got a good amount of books here. I've had more, definitely, but I've got a good amount. First up, I do have a pre-order, and that is The Plot by Jean Hanf Corlitz. This is a thriller about an author who, or like he's a teacher who like either had one good book and then couldn't come up with a good plot ever again or he never had a good book and he ends up stealing the plot of a dead student of his and it looked really really fun um like it just looked like a very fun time i love writery kind of things that'd be fun uh we've got my first of the weeded books uh kitty and the midnight hour by carrie vaughn this is one of the adult paranormal romances pretty much if they got a sexy lady on the cover and her only purpose there is to be sexy i take it off the shelves because i'm i you know i believe in letting kids read what they want to read but probably in a library that services 12 year olds we shouldn't have this like readily available you know um then my barnes noble books like i said i got five. First up i got a true crime book that is Sons of Cain by Peter Vronsky. This is a history of serial killers from the Stone Age to the present. This is about serial killers, obviously. It gives a history of how the kind of term came to be, how how they were acting in the older eras, all that sort of fun stuff. On the front here, we've got, we got, there's Berkowitz, there's Myra Hindley, there's Dahmer. That's gotta be HH. That's Jack the Ripper. That's Vlad the Impaler. Don't know who this guy is probably i should or probably i shouldn't actually but this looked fun uh, then i picked up two manga and a light novel the manga i picked up were uh the first two dang and rampa uh manga this is volume two volume volume one volume two they had so many of these in like different series based on different games and i wanted to buy them all i'm actually impressed that i only bought two because i played this game um, actually, first, I read the fan translation of the game um, on, uh, because I was a homestuck and all the homestucks migrated over to Danganronpa during the hiatus. And then I played the game when it came out in English. I bought a, I bought a PS Vita for the game. Uh, I watched the anime. No, I, I think I watched the anime before I played the game. Read, watch, play, I think. And now uh, I've been playing the game again. I haven't in a while. But Steven bought it on his PlayStation, so I can, but... Now I can read it as well. And there are so many, like they've got one for Danganronpa 2. They've got, oh, they've got so much. Uh, oh, by the way, what this is about. Uh, this is a battle royale kind of scenario. This is about a bunch of high schoolers who wake up and they're trapped in a school and they have to kill each other and get away with the murder to get out. And I just love it. I'm a fucking homestuck at heart, man. Just let me deal with that in my own way. Uh, then my light novel that I got is a Bleach light novel, and that is the Can't Fear Your Own, Wor Own World Volume 1 Bleach light novel by Tite Kubo and Ryogo Narita. This follows uh, Shuhei Saki, who was a very fun minor character in the Bleach series. Bleach was my first um, anime that I ever watched. And so I have been vaguely interested in these light novels for a while now. I believe there are two out in English currently. Um, but I saw this last time I was at Barnes & Noble and this time I did finally pick it up. I will say, out of the two Barnes & Nobles in North Dakota, there's one in Bismarck, one in Fargo, I like Bismarck's more. Bismarck's is better. If you are, for some reason, in North Dakota and you're going to go to Barnes & Noble and you don't know which one to go to, Bismarck's is better. Um, but I did pick this up. 
Uh, then I got a book that I actually have on my Kindle. I won it from Goodreads, but I'm so excited to read it. I know it'll take me 7,000 years to read anything on my fucking Kindle. I picked up Whisper Down the Lane by Clay McLeod Chapman. This is a novel focusing on the satanic panic. And y'all know I love the satanic panic. Y'all know I'm just fucking obsessed with anything relating to satanic panic, mostly the West Memphis 3, but anything. And this is about um, a set of parents whose child comes home and it turns out that one of the teachers at his school is under investigation and he's been saying some things that don't make any sense. And it's a whole like, was the, the, the one preschool that, I forget what it was called, like the McClellan pre Preschool or some, something along those lines. I'll put up the actual name. Um, but it sounds kind of like that, and it just looks so much fun. And I'm like, I cannot wait to read this on my Kindle. And also, it's gorgeous in hardcover. So, I did pick it up. Uh, then, I did not publish a new book, but I did republish an old book. Um, and that's because Amazon started doing hardcovers. And I have got one book that the formatting on the- it was my first book I ever published. I didn't realize that I should double space it. The cover's awful and I should not double space it, I should say. And I just figured I would take this chance that the hardcover- they're, they're doing hardcover for Amazon publishing that republish Iscariot. So this is my hardcover of Iscariot. It's got a much better cover. See there, see Pentology of Hell number one. Um, the front page, we, ha we do of course have all of my books listed there um, because this is the last one published. On the inside, we are not double spaced anymore. The back, I got my new author photo, which is a little bit more recent than the other one, but it's still in my denim jacket because that's my brand, I guess. Um, but basically, Iscariot, this was first published last March, March 2020. Um, and while uh, it's, the, the paperback is still up. The paperback isn't that much cheaper than the hardcover. The paperback is $16.66 because I was trying to be funny. The hardcover is $18.50. So, this is about three kids who accidentally go to hell. It is my pet project. It's the project I've been working on the longest out of everything. I love it. Definitely buy the fancy new hardcover because I'm very excited about it. Um, if you are interested in the store but don't want to pay $18.50, Kindle is always 99 cents and always will be 99 cents because unless Amazon makes me raise it. Let's say that. Like say if Amazon says Kindle books have to be at minimum $2.99 now, then I'll raise it. But other than that, it's always gonna be 99. It's always gonna be the lowest I can make it. Right now that's 99 cents. So that is that. Then we've just got a fuck ton of weeded books that I tried to rescue. Alright, um, I don't know what very many of these are about. Um, I know that a lot of them are adult paranormal romances, which good job, Aurora. But let's just get let's just get going through them. Uh, first up, I've got A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest J. Gaines. This was an Oprah's Book Club pick, so I'm assuming it's actually pretty good. It's a little kind of falling apart. Nobody wants to read it. Um, it is set in a small Cajun community in the late 1940s. Jefferson, a young black man, is an unwitting party to a liquor store shootout in which three men are killed. The only sort Oh, it's wrongful conviction! Hell yeah! I'm excited now, actually. Um, I've got some Patricia, Patricia Briggs. I have The Hobbs Bargain, which looks like straight-up fantasy romance. Oh, magic is banished from the land. Beauty and the Beast. That'll be awful, I'm sure. Um, actually, I've actually heard that Patricia B Briggs is not bad as far as adult paranormal romance authors go, but I'm still, like, not super pumped about it. Um, then I've got Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. We had two copies of this one, and this one was in worse condition. So I got rid of it because we don't. I don't have that much space. Um, I'm the English teacher. I'm also the de facto librarian because the high school library is in my room. Um, and I have a spreadsheet that I'm very proud of. So we don't have that much space because it's my it's in my English classroom. So I decided to get rid of this one because it's in worse condition. Then we've got The Night Throw Spent in Jail by Jer Jerome Lawrence and Robert E. Lee. This is a play. Again, we had two copies and we probably don't even need one. And this one, the pages are falling out. So got rid of it. Uh, then for some reason we have like two copies of like every fucking Jane Lynn's Gold book out there. Uh, so I've got a couple of those. This one is Wolf Captured. This one's also been drawn on. So we decided to get rid of that. Uh, I've got Thunderbird Falls by C.E. Murphy. This is the second book in the Walker Papers. This one looked inappropriate. Got Wicked Game by Jerry Smith Reddy. 
again, like I was saying, if we've got a lady looking sexy on the front, I probably am going to take it out. It also says a novel of sex, blood, and rock and roll on the front, so maybe, maybe no. Um, yeah. Uh, then I've got Mr. and Mrs. Bo Jones by Anne Head. This one was actually just popping back in the 80s. Everybody wanted to read this in 1982. You can see from the card here. Um, less so now. Uh, it is less popping now. But in 1982, man, everybody loved this fucking book. It's about a, a couple who end up getting pregnant accidentally. Um, I've got Franny and Zooey by J.D. Salinger. I have two copies of this. Don't need two copies. And this one has somebody's email address written on the front. So I was like, okay. I've got Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. It's kind of falling apart. This is a very good book to have in the classroom, but nobody's going to read it and it's falling apart. So, yeah. Um, I've got another one with a sexy lady on the front. Uh, for a Few Demons More by Kim Harrison. Looks like another paranormal romance. I've got uh, Kitty Takes a Holiday by Carrie Vaughn, which again, I have I have a couple of these. I have a couple more coming. It's just got a lot of those. Got another Patricia Briggs book, Bloodbound. And again, with the sexy ladies on the cover, this one even has her shirt completely open. So I'm like, okay, mine now, I guess. Uh, then I've got another one that I had two copies of. This one was in worse condition, though not by much. It's still in pretty decent condition. But I just, this one wasn't even popping back in the day. So... That is uh, Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nymph. Uh, this was a uh, by Robert C. O'Brien. I remember watching this movie when I was a kid. Um, I never read the book, so now I have the book. I've got All Things Bright and Beautiful by James Harriet. Again, I, I think, believe I had two copies of this one. Uh, this one was kind of popping. This one had some people who did at least check it out. Yeah, so not not popping like. The Jonas one, but still relatively popping. Um, another Carrie Vaughn book, Kitty in the Dead Man's Hand. And finally, another Jane Linskold book, uh, Wolf's Head, Wolf's Heart. So those are my, that's my haul slash unhaul. Um, expect more, because I still got two days left. So I still got two days left to cart books home before they throw them away. So yeah, say la fucking be, I guess. I don't know.